this episode, we discover how wolves can keep running for miles, yet still have an incredible sprint finish. Being a wolf blood makes my character Ridian and his friend Maddie different to their friends because they can transform into wolves and use wolf-like abilities during their day-to-day -day lives. One of the skills they share with the wolves is being able to run very long distances without ever really getting tired. Now that's incredibly useful, never more so than when you need to help get your friends out of trouble. Just like when Tom and Shannon were out in the woods looking for the monster and there was a wild wolf blood on the loose. Well, you know what, I think we should go. Look, the fog's getting thicker. We clearly aren't going to see anything. Look, Shannon took it the other day. I thought it was Ridian because I didn't know about wild wolf blood. <sighs> where did they go? To the woods, here. Yeah, but where? Where's here? I can't explain, but I can find it. No, you two stay here. We're coming with you. You're staying right here. If there's a wild wolf blood out there, We'll see This is ridiculous. I know where they are. Mum and Dad know what they're doing. What, in their car? If that wolf's out there, he's using his senses and he's going to hunt down Tom and Shannon. We can get there first. You're right. We're no wolfing out. Shannon's got a camera. Miles away, Tom and Shannon were still on the lookout. So big. Badger, Shan. It's really close. Six o'clock. You know, it's nearly seven. No! I mean, it's right behind us. Ah! <laughs> oh, your face is... Oh, you <laughs> idiots! You're not funny! Have you found the monster yet? No, thanks to you. You probably scared it off. Oh, please. Yeah, what kind of monsters would be scared of us? <laughs> what, what was that? It was just a dog. I know he must have wandered into the woods. It's not a dog, it's the monster. It's my monster. I'm not hanging around to find out. Look, if you run, it'll chase you. Are you OK? Well, we would be. Who was up jumping out at us? Ridian and Maddie were able to beat Maddie's parents in the car without even getting out of breath by drawing on their wolf stamina to keep running for long enough. Wolves can keep on the move across all different types of landscapes, sometimes up to 45 miles in 24 hours. That's like running an ultra marathon day after day. Now that's pretty amazing, but how do these astonishing animals achieve such incredible feats? Well, this wolf skull with its long muzzle gives us a clue. The long muzzle and the shape of the inner nose means more oxygen can get into the blood so wolves don't tire as quickly. And that's not the only reason they're brilliant over long distances. Long legs allow them to cover the ground quickly and easily, and because the elbows turn inward, their body weight is precisely balanced over their feet. This means they can travel over the toughest terrain without wasting precious energy. Large feet spread their weight so they don't sink into soft snow, and that gives them an edge over their prey. Lots of tiny blood vessels create heat pads in the pores so they can keep going, even when the temperature drops well below freezing. A narrow chest makes them more streamlined when they run through snow, and that chest contains big lungs and a large heart. but they don't just travel huge distances on land. The webbing between their feet makes them excellent swimmers. They've been known to swim up to eight miles in one go. So they're the ultimate travelers, but why do they need this super stamina? It's because their prey is spread out over huge areas, so they have to travel far and wide just to find it. Over mountains, through snow, and across rivers. In winter, wolves can spend up to half of their time on the move. 
keeping a steady pace, around 5 miles an hour, they save energy by using existing animal tracks or travelling in single file through deep snow, with one wolf breaking the trail and the rest following behind. Even when they find their prey, like these caribou, the wolves can't always immediately go in for the kill. They sometimes have to follow a herd all day and all night until they've panicked the animals into running. Wolves need their prey to be moving quickly so they can identify the right target. When prey is running, the wolves can pick out the old, the young or the eel. Sometimes identifying these weaker members can take several miles. So their staying power is essential to find and pinpoint their target to be in with a chance of securing a meal. But they also need incredible stamina to keep on top of their territory, the area where they live and hunt for food. The land belonging to a single pack can cover hundreds of square miles and it's important to patrol it pretty regularly to make sure rival wolves don't start taking prey from their patch. So it's not hard to see why Ridian and Maddie are able to run and run and hardly break into a sweat. But it's not just stamina that's the key to helping wolfbloods get what they want. It's also their explosive burst of speed. Ridian, using his wolf-like abilities, is often able to mystify his classmates with impressive speed, turning a difficult situation into his advantage. Just like when he was wrongly accused of smashing up the school's art project and suddenly realised who was really to blame. Push off, Lee boy. Do you want to know why you did it? Get lost! Did you do all that damage just to get me into trouble? No! You've had it in for me since I arrived. You told Jeffries I was here that night. You think everything's about you, don't you? Poor little orphan boy. You know how lucky you are. No one telling you you're not good enough. You're a disappointment. That's family. Who needs one? Next time you lose your temper, smash up your own things. Rudian's wolf-like lightning pace around school meant that he could get Jimmy to admit responsibility for causing all that damage. So it's a pretty useful skill for a teenage wolf blood to have. But it's no wonder Rudian was so quick because wolves really are fast. Over short distances, they can reach speeds up to 35 miles an hour. That's quicker than you're allowed to drive around town. If a wolf was running at top speed from here to the school about 100 metres away, he could do it in just over six seconds. That's a lot quicker than your average human. When wolves are running flat out, they're nearly 10 miles an hour quicker than the world's fastest sprinters. They cover the ground quickly because they can move in great bounds. Each bound can be five metres. About the length of a school minibus. And it's their maximum speed that helps them finish off the hunt. Once they've identified their target, they accelerate to top pace to go in for the final attack. It's a truly deadly combination. They use their stamina to find and identify the right target and their speed to make the kill. So Wolfbloods owe all their impressive speed and stamina to the wolves in the wild, which gives them both a great advantage over their rivals and marks them out as extraordinary athletes in their own worlds. Yeah, next time you miss the bus, you can walk to school. If I ran, I'd get here before the bus. Yeah. Stop where you are! Grab him! <laughs> 